I opened up a Welcome to Wrath Unlimited Japanese printing booster box today, and I just wanted to discuss the changes that they made since the Belgium printing of Unlimited and Alpha. And honestly, I'm overall, I'm just very happy with the amount of changes they made. It, it's just, everything was right, man. And the, the first big change I want to talk about is the wrapper. And you know me, man, I love my wrappers. And <laughs> the biggest th problem I had with the previous wrappers is they weren't sealed fully and perforated like this. I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but the Japanese printed booster pack wrappers are, are made in a way where you can't tamper with them. See, when, when you open up your wrappers, you have to destroy the sides. They tear very easily and you can't make it so you take the cards out and put them back in with one less legendary and just sell it on eBay, which is great. And I feel like that was a really big problem in the market of Flesh and Blood for a long time where people would sell loose booster pack, uh, loose booster packs from Welcome to Wrath Alpha and Arcane First Edition. And you know, they tampered with them or weighed them. They did any type of sort of things like that. And of course you can still weigh packs and you can still do all that stuff with this, but I like that it's hard to repack this in general, which is nice. I think that this whole wrapping, I hope that they do that in first edition product going forward, especially because, uh, yeah, no, it, it's good to have a wrapper that just doesn't, isn't able to do that. And I know for, for the most part, all of us are pretty nice people, but you know, if you make something easy for the general masses to do, then it's just leading into that direction. And I don't care how many people disagree with me with that and say, hey, Bronson, that never happens. Oh, oh, oh th 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 it's a very, very, very rare occurrence, but it, no, it happens. It, and, and, and like just a knowing human nature, knowing people, you just gotta be careful in life. And, and when there's an opportunity for people to make a couple hundred dollars with, you know, uh, you know, a couple simple tools and, and doing stuff, they're probably gonna do it. So anyway, very happy with this. It, it's really uh, nice that they added this to the product. Hopefully I see it in the future. Um, another thing to note is uh, the card quality. Whoa, buddy, like this is thick. <laughs> this is thick cardboard. I mean, this is this is a substantial card here. I mean, um, I, I really wish I could tell you exactly what it is, but basically these are a lot less flimsy than uh, the Unlimited cards uh, from Belgium. And they have an interesting feel to them, you know? Um, one thing though to note is that the foiling, the foiling isn't as good as Alpha. And I don't know if that was on purpose or if it's just a different printing style. And that would be interesting to note in the future is if Alpha printing or the first printing of a product, the foiling, the rainbow foiling, if that add more foiling to it, you know? And then the Unlimited is just less. I've noticed that overall. Maybe it's a different printing method and style and more maybe I'm full of crap and I have no idea what I'm talking about. But overall, I, I, you know, I think the foiling, it could be done a little bit more if, if they were trying to, you know, make it. But, but overall, the, you know, the foiling looks good and I like the substantial nature of these cards. Um, it's definitely good to note because if you're buying a legendary card and you hold it and you're like, wait a minute, this doesn't feel like a flesh and blood card. It might be the Japanese print, honestly. It's very different when you hold these cards in your hand versus the Unlimited. But uh, the, or uh, the Unlimited, Belgium I'll say. Because <laughs> these are Unlimited, those are Unlimited, but there are two completely sets of cards and boxes and stuff. You get a, a much different product here. Um, but but uh, you know an, another thing too to note, and a lot of reviewers do not do this test that I do, but but I, I'm I'm an all around person when I review my products and the the smell man, oh the smell of these cards are really fucking good. I mean, these the, these are really nice. Oh, and ju just to give you what it is, it, it's like a nice sweet subtle smell. It's like it's like a sparkling water type of flavored type of smell, whereas. The unlimited cards from Belgium, how do I say, was like sniffing ink. It was like putting a fork up your nose and just poking your brain. It just like, it smelled so much ink. It was like, it was like ink was squirted up your nose. It was, it was too much, man. And it didn't really smell that good. It just made me just wince and, and think, well, what the 
heck? But this, this is the good stuff. And what's great about this is I think this smells better than Alpha, which I didn't think was possible. So Alpha, welcome to Wrath, smells more of like a, a mist. It's like a subtle mist that cascades over your nostrils, but it's like a new car smell. It, it's very new and cleanly, but not too like a clean smell. These cards are more of like, you know, a soft strawberry taste, a taste in your nose. It's just a, a, a smell that's just a little bit fruity, but not too fruity. Just, just enough to know that there is fruit, but not too much to know that it is a fruit. So overall, man, I am very happy with the smell of these. They smell really good. So overall, man, you know, my, my whole product review, I like these cards. Um, I like the card stock. I like the card stock better. Um, the foiling, I think, is the only thing that could be needed to uh, improve on in, in the quality. But we'll see. Maybe that is intentionally done. Maybe the alpha cards are supposed to spark a little bit more. That makes sense to me. Well, I guess we'll see how it all unfolds. But um, I really like these. Um, the, the only other difference I noticed is that the card back is a lot lighter than the uh, alpha cards. And uh, I think the unlimited from Belgium as well. The Japanese cards are, are very, very light on the back, which was uh, interesting to me. But overall, I'm very happy with uh, the changes, especially, man, the wrapper. The great change here. But other than the product, I just want to end on, on a note. Overall, uh, I really look forward to seeing this type of thing in more first edition product. But one thing I really want to ask Legend Story Studios is I think that they need to be a little bit more transparent on the pull rates. And I know it's on the website. But man, something feels different from different products. And I open a good amount of product. And I've talked to other people who open up a good amount of product. And uh, pull rates don't feel like very similar in certain products over the others. And... I think that as a company that's selling a game that's primarily a gamble, when, when, when you open up this box, right, you are basically opening like, you know, 10 scratch off tickets here. This is a whole scratch off gambling aspect in this box. You could pull crap or you could pull the fable or legendary card. Uh, I actually pulled a, a, a Fandel Spring Tunic. <laughs> I was very happy with this first, first box I opened. I have a couple more up there. I might keep them sealed, but you know, honestly, I'm very happy with that. But yeah, you could pull this, which is what $150 right now. So, oh wow, I doubled my money from the you know, I don't know, 70 dollars that I paid. Or you could get a bunch of crap and no legendary and get like maybe fifty, thirty dollars worth of cards. It's a gamble. So when it's a gamble, I think it's really appropriate to just be fully transparent on what. The pull rates are on the product and I don't want to make any assertions I don't want to make any type of things like that because you know I don't know for sure I, I, I could be full of crap I could be like you know making stuff up off of the top of my head but all I can say and this is not investment advice no anything like that I'm just a normal guy in a normal room here all I know is uh yeah it feels to me like the pull rates have changed in some way shape or form from Japanese printing Belgium printing and alpha print. And on the website of fabtcg.com, I believe the pull rates are of the alpha product and not of the unlimited product of Belgium or unlimited product of Japan. That's something very key to know. The pull rates on the fabtcg site, from my understanding, are only for first edition product. So that's really something I want to drive home is that because this is a gamble, I think that the, the pull rates and and the, hey it, 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 the pull rates need to be updated per product especially if they changed please legend store shoes update that you know if, if it changed, please do that because you know the consumers should be educated they should know all the ins and outs of the product they're purchasing and in, in, in different you know facets of of what it may or may not be but you know all in all you know i i'm very happy with the product in general the the japanese printing uh is is a uh, fire as they say so i just wanted to talk about it because i don't, I don't know why people aren't talking about this shit. it's really good product and it's really great to see that you know it the product's evolving over time and we have everfest coming up and that's gonna be paper wrappers which is awesome 
it's great to see that they actually, you know, are giving a shit about the environment and trying to do better, and especially since they have a big, you, you know, footprint on, on the, you know, overall market. So I'm very, uh, very happy to see things happening with the rappers. Thanks for watching.